What's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Thank y'all for tuning in to today's video. And in today's video, we're gonna be having a battle of the spinning reels. Now, if you guys saw the last video we recorded out here in the marsh, we had a killer day, man, with this little, what is it? The loose speed spin right there. Little bait caster or a spinning reel. Gosh, I hope I said that in the intro right. Bait cast or spinning reel, not bait caster. Battle of the spinning reels. But yeah, man, we had a killer day with that little loose. And I've always talked so much crap about that reel in the past, um, but you know, circumstances happen and I forced myself to use it and it worked out well. So they got me to thinking of another reel that I used to always talk crap about, this Daiwa Fuego. Um, I don't know what it is about it, man. Fresh out of the box, I had a couple trips, didn't like it and I put it up and it's just been sitting in the office ever since. But recently I took the Vanford off of this setup. so. This rod is vacant and I figured why not have a little bit of fun out here, have a battle between the two reels and see which one I like more. So. Oh my gosh, no, I do not have the drag set right. There we go. Oh my gosh, guys. I mean, buttery smooth drag though. I was afraid to tighten it up. You know, sometimes your drag will be too tight and then it like has to get activated first really smooth drag though this guy's kind of engaging it but subtly and not in like the real <clears throat> way awesome nice redfish doesn't seem to be the biggest uh, actually i don't know that's a nice fish oh. come here pal Let's get the first one on it already, guys. Already, I kind of knew from the jump it was gonna be a Daiwa as a winner. Jeez, come here, buddy. How does he manage? Bro, busted off my paddle tail somehow. Oh gosh, just get in the net, buckaroo. There we go. Nice fish, nice fish. Look at how thick he is, man. Guaranteed to be at least six pounds. Is he, did he make six? Six pounds, you can take that to the bank, boy. Yes, sir, six pound red. Nice guy, probably 24, 25 inches. Oh my gosh, that was too close for comfort. You just threw my hoagies across the boat. Beautiful fish though, let's let them breathe and get them measured. All right, let's go ahead and see what this guy's all about. Again, 24, 25 inches probably. Yeah, look at that, beautiful on the money, 25 incher blue tail still look at that thing that's beautiful fire tail off the fuego reel dude the first one as well let's go try and get our limit man i want to get the limit i know this video was supposed to be a challenge between those two reels but i don't think there's really any competition what's this guy doing buddy you've been in the water for so long come here Why is this, why is this so tough? Look, trust, yeah, there you go. I was gonna say, he's fine. He's been in the water for so long. I don't know if that's a, just a me thing. I'm assuming it happens to a lot of guys, but I swear, man, sometimes those fish just act real dramatic. I really would, really would give this lose a little bit more time of day, but after using it all day yesterday, we caught like, two really nice redfish, two really nice trout, and uh, just had an overall good day with it. Got to fight a lot of fish, got to really test it out. I can tell you after doing one fight on that one red with this Daiwa, it's just way better. That thing's getting benched. And with only a $50 price difference, mind you, $110, $60, $60 $59, $50 is getting you so much better, man. I mean, the drag is like night and day difference. Not to mention just the aesthetic of it. This looks way better very hard to do red and black wrong and that thing is just gray and black Ugh, that looks like if the soviet union made like a people's spinning reel and sent it out to everyone that's what they would send out they would just make a bunch of those in the factory Oh, there we go. No. No, no, no. Just missed one. 
Yeah. Dang. Listen to that drag, dude. It's not obnoxious either. It's just there. I think I'm kind of falling in love, y'all. Watch it, he breaks my drag. <laughs> I lose my fish and cry. About, I wanna say two hours since our last catch. It's not very long since our last bite though. Maybe, I don't know, 40 minutes since our last bite that we had literally right here in this exact same portion of the back lake. I've noticed that, oh yeah, that's a nice one. Um, on days that have similar winds, like winds out of similar directions, the fish tend to congregate in similar spots. So if I get like a mean wind coming from one direction, please stop going towards that rudder, bro. Um, and I notice the same wind on a different day, I can go to the same spot and have repeat success so we have the exact same winds as our last trip out and i just kind of came and targeted that same spot jeez no 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 oh my god dude this guy has no quit in him yo i'm just gonna grab the leader at this point i mean i don't want to risk it it's too too much of a grind today yeah 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 you're going nowhere pal you're going nowhere buddy Come here, buckaroo. I wish this uh, leader line was a little thicker. All right. <laughs> that crap is literally cutting my hands. Oh man, another like probably six pounder. I don't know, he might make seven pounds. He looks like a lengthy son of a gun, but look how bruised up he is, man. Look at that, all bruised up. Crazy fish. Off the hoagies again. Kind of beating a dead horse talking about this thing, but I figure it's kind of the YouTube thing, you know? You talk about the bait you've been throwing. Unfortunately, no, I guess not unfortunately. I mean, this thing works like a charm, but uh, not a lot of variety. <laughs> Just kind of throwing what works right now. Oh yeah, better look at that guy. What's that weight gonna be? I'm gonna guess seven seven or six pounds uh i tried to get him to eight yeah he's a seven pounder seven pound redfish probably about 26 inches i'm telling y'all bro day after day coming out here getting on these guys i'm getting a little better at eyeballing them we called that guy a seven pounder and he was right on the button let's see is he gonna be the 20 26 inches just gonna get you measured real quick yeah guys Oh yeah, look at that dude. I'm a freaking eyeball machine now. One final look at him. <sighs> oh man, we need one more. We need one more. But if the uh, if the tradition holds true, I'm gonna fish for the next three hours, get no bites and be one off my limit. Well y'all, this is uh, pretty insane, but I cannot defeat the prophecy. The prophecy of me never catching my limit is uh, still running strong. So I've been casting again for another maybe additional hour and a half. And if we take a look, the back lake is just all stirred up at this point. The winds have uh, seriously kicked up, man. I was just blind casting, drifting, blind casting, drifting. I don't know where I just started feeling real wobbly. And yeah, sure enough, I think it's like 17 knots right now. So, uh, Heading off the back lake, gonna go seek some refuge in the bayou. Again, bro, let me watch. Guarantee I catch a trout up here. I almost kind of don't wanna catch a trout at this point. So maybe the prophecy just scrubs itself and we don't have to deal with this anymore. But I can't. There we go. There we go. Perfect. That's a trout. I think this is a trout. 
Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh, dude. I saw silver. It's no trout. But I think it's our limit, guys. I think we broke the curse. I'll explain what's going on here in a second. The wind is still kicking. Tide is up freaking two notches. Gosh. Stop looking at that guy for one second and he went for my rudder. Come here, come here, come here. Come on, let me just land you, man. Let me land you so I can fulfill the prophecy of catching the limit. Oh, all right, y'all. So, as you can see, I've made it to a mystery back lake. Uh, not really. This is just like a scrubby little back lake that I don't really like fishing as much because there's never really as many fish. But figured on the way out, man, I got to give it one more shot to get this guy. Tried our luck. Made it happen. Very happy. Let's get a look at him. And here we are, y'all. Very rambunctious fish. Look at that. Looks like something has got a hold of this guy in the past. What's this other side looking like? Hey, come on. Yeah, he's all scarred up. We got ourselves a little roughy in here. Beautiful fish, though. All that crap I was talking about this back lake in, literally. It's been a very rough day, very slow day. I think that's my pop's first red. And uh, yeah, two reds right here in the cruddy back lake. Maybe we stop uh, wasting our time driving all the way to the far one. Come to this little appetizer lake. I'm calling maybe 23, 24 inches on this guy. Nah. Yep. Look at that. Look at that. 23 and a half. Well, after three days of not catching my limit, but getting real close, finally got the limit and we finally got our eye supremely calibrated. Oh yeah, man. It feels really, really good. It's funny because we were just getting ready to just call it and go home and accept defeat. And I said, nah, you know what? Let's go. Let's just go see what this back lake has to offer. No trout, by the way. I was also very ashamed. I stopped at the trout hole and we caught zero trout. You ready, buddy? There he goes. All right, y'all, that is gonna do it here for today's video. Super long day out there on the water, man. Talking like seven hours worth of just casting, 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 casting. Um, finally able to get our limit. It's been days. It's been days since I got a limit. So I'm super accomplished, super stoked that I got that. Um, very happy the GoPro didn't mess up. So I got to bring you guys along for all of the action. Just an all around great day, man. So uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in to the video. It means a ton. Hit that like button if you like the video. And if you love the video and you want to see more real Gulf Coast fishing, hit that subscribe button. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great rest of y'all's day. Peace.